Hey everybody, it's Robin Riley for Del Bello's Designs. Welcome to my second Talk Crafty to Me video tutorial on recycled art. The technique that I'm going to show you today is called faux cloissonné. But before we dive into the technique itself, I'd like to in invite you all to join us in our Facebook groups. We have two of them. One being the Del Bello's Design Lounge, where we showcase all of our Lavinia items and creations. Our other Facebook page is called the Del Bello's Design a la carte. And that's where we showcase all the other products that we have in the shop. You can also join us on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest using our hashtag Del Bello's Designs. Okay, so what is cloissonné first? First of all, it's an ancient Asian technique that is used for decorating metalwork objects with colored materials. Most of the time, those colored materials were enamels. And those enamels were held in place or they were separated by metal strips or wire. And normally, those strips and wire were made of gold. Now today I'm going to show you a really unique way to create this from paper. Before we get started on the supplies though, I want to show you a few of the examples that I created to demonstrate cloissonné. Here you can see uh, these are flowers from Sweet Poppy. And I hope you're able to see the reflection of my faux metal. Another one, again, these are all Sweet Poppy. And you are going to be surprised when you realize what I have recycled to create these beautiful images. Isn't he beautiful? That is such an awesome looking owl. Another one, and very quickly, check out this. Is he not amazing? So, how is this created? You will be surprised when you see. Okay, this is the one I'm going to try to recreate. Now, I cannot exactly recreate this, and you'll understand why in a moment. The supplies that you need to create something like this. Today, I'm going to be using Sweet Poppy stamps. This is the Peony, or depending on where you're from, Peony A6 stamp set. Now, with Sweet Poppy, if you notice, their stamps are always very large. The quality of their acrylic stamps is amazing. I think they're one of the best that you can purchase. But I want to demonstrate that you can use these large stamps and get a great result. All right, so that's the stamp set we'll be using. We'll be using the peony and we'll be using the word nature. Now, how do I get that color? The color is done from a piece of a recycled magazine. I just went through some magazines that I had lying around and I ripped out ones that I thought had some pretty colors that I could use in creating this technique. So this is the one I'm going to use. I will be stamping onto this piece of magazine scrap with Versamark ink. I will be using the Wow Embossing Powder. This is the Metallic Platinum Super Fine. I will be fussy cutting the flower using a pair of sharp scissors. It will be mounted on a five by five piece of 85 pound cardstock. Now you could use any pound that you have. This is just what I had that I felt matched the magazine piece. You will also need a heat tool for the embossing. I will be using my Misty platform along with my air hockey paddle. All right, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is place my magazine piece into my Misty. 
Now, magazine papers, you know, typically are extremely thin. So I am going to caution you to make sure when you stamp, you're getting a really good impression the first time around, because even using the Misty, it will be extremely difficult trying to restamp. So make sure you're getting it good the first time around. And the reason for that, you'll see what's going to happen, is when I stamp this onto the thin paper and I try to remove the stamp, it's really gonna stick. I'll demonstrate it here just without the ink. And I'm just lining this up in, a, in an area that I think I'm going to capture some beautiful colors. I may want to play around to get some of my leaves in a darker color, but it may not work that way. So it's just something you have to play with until you decide what you think is going to work best for you. And I think I like that right there. Now watch as I try to re, uh, pull this off, it's gonna stick and it's going to pull my magazine paper. So I'm just gonna reposition it. And then I'm going to be using the Versamark ink, which as you know, or if you don't know, this is a very sticky ink, just like glue. And I'm just pressing it onto the stamp hoping, because this is clear, it's, it's very difficult to see. I'm hoping that I get really good coverage. I'm gonna go over it several times. And then we're gonna hope for the best on this. Pressing this onto that magazine paper, I am going to use my air hockey tool, the paddle, and I'm going to press extremely hard on this because I really want good coverage. I'm gonna go over it several times. And it is going to stick when I peel this off. I'm gonna do my best to hold it down. Oh, I did pretty good on that one. I'm going to remove, quickly clean off my stamp with just water and a microfiber towel. And next, I'm going to bring in just a sheet of paper to catch the embossing powder. I am using, again, the Metallic Platinum Super Fine Wow brand. I'm going to sprinkle this generously over the entire piece. Tapping off some of the excess. I'm looking at it to make sure I have good coverage of the embossing powder, and it appears that I do. I might need just a little bit in this area. All right, let me remove this so I don't blow it everywhere. Okay, hang on guys, I'm coming. All right, I'm going to use my heat tool now. Now, being that this paper is extremely thin, I would recommend heating from the back. It's a little tricky until you get a good grip. And you'll see it will go very quickly because of the paper being so terribly thin. I'm gonna spin this around so I don't burn myself. Right, I wanted you to see the entire process of me heating that because of how you have to like really be careful holding that paper so that it doesn't roll on you or fold. 
Now what I'm going to do is come in and fussy cut this out. I highly recommend these Cutter Bee scissors because they are extremely sharp and you can get into very fine areas. And as you cut, try to leave, I try to leave anyway, a little bit of a margin around the embossing. Also when I'm cutting, if you notice, I am not opening and closing my scissors like this. That creates a very ragged edge. I am just pulling gently on my paper and turning my paper as I go around the shape. And that will create a nice smooth edge. Now, when you're thinking about doing this, try to find a stamp, and I highly recommend the Sweet Poppy, especially the flower series that they have out now, because fussy cutting these is very easy. It's a large area. There's not a lot of intricate areas to cut. I know a lot of people don't like to fussy cut, and I do understand that, especially when it's intricate. But these are rather easy. All right, I'm going to bring in my topper, my card topper, and my adhesive. And I am using the Art Glitter Designer Dries Clear Adhesive. Now, I've, because I've done so many of these, I have found out it is best to stay about a quarter of an inch away from the edge of the magazine piece, go entirely around the edge, and then once I am around the entire shape, I'm going to fill in the center with some more glue. I found if you don't fill in this center, then it's, it's going to almost bubble on you and it doesn't look great. So placing this down, I'm going to start in the middle and press the glue towards the edge of the flower. Now, if some sneaks out, not a problem. This glue does dry clear. I'll rotate. Again, pressing everything from the center to the edge of the flower. Just got a little bit there that popped out, but that'll be okay. And then I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to rub on the back rather roughly. That way I get a nice smooth adhesion onto my card. And there's a little piece sticking off the side, which is fine. I'll just trim that off. And if there are little areas like this one's snuck up there on me, I didn't get the glue there. I'm just going to add a very small drop of the glue and press that into place. All right, that looks really neat. I hope you're able to see how absolutely gorgeous that flower is. And if you look hard, you can see the individual flowers that were on that magazine, but it gives such a really neat effect. And there you are recycling an old, an old card, or an old magazine piece, sorry about that. Okay, now I'm gonna come in with my word nature, and I'm going to stamp that onto a small piece that I have, it's just a scrap I have laying here after I cut down the uh, card topper. Going to add that to my Misty. Being this is a larger word, it's rather easy to line this up in the center, making sure that it is straight. And again, I will be using 
the Versamark ink, inking that stamp well. I'm going to get a nice amount of this sticky ink, pressing that into my card. Get that stamp cleaned off quickly. And I will bring back in my little sheet of paper to catch my embossing powder using the same color. And doing a quick heat of those letters. I just love the print, the font on that word nature. It's so nice. All right, I'm gonna be brave and I'm just going to try to snip this straightly. All right, that's good. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm edging this. This is a technique I love to do, especially during this technique, it's just worked out great. I take the edge of this card and I rub it into the ink. I'm not trying to get it even. I actually prefer if it's not even. I'll do two sides the same way. I'm just scraping this over the top, getting some of that ink on here. I'm going to run it through the embossing powder that I have just lying here. Tap off the extra. Going to heat this. This gives such a beautiful edging to that word. Same thing again, I'm going to run the edge over the ink pad, not being concerned if it's straight or even. I'm going to just slide it into the embossing powder to pick some up, and then I will heat again. I like doing two sides at a time instead of all four, that way I don't get burned. Okay, let me slide this out of the way. And I'm going to bring the card topper back in and place this where I think it looks rather well. Using my adhesive. All right, one last step. I'm going to do the same technique around the entire edge of this card with the embossing ink and the powder. Just running the card through. You can slide it up and down, you can scrape it. And again, I'm going to do two sides at a time. Bring my powder back in. Gonna dump a little more powder since this is a larger surface here. Running it just through the powder on the edge, tapping off the excess, and then I will heat. I am so happy to see what happened here. See, it is not even, and that's really what I was going for. I wanted the unevenness on the edges. Now over here, it's a little bit thin, and I don't know if you realize or, or you know that you can emboss again on top of something that's already been embossed. So being that that's so thin in those corners, I'm going to run this through one more time 
and I'm going to pick up some more powder and heat it again. happy I did that because I got a nice big splodge there that I I wanted to get. All right, two more sides. Running it through. I'm pressing rather firmly on this. Now I'm sure if your ink pad is super moist, you wouldn't have to do it as much as I am. Since I've learned this technique, I have been making so many of these cards. So I'm really putting my ink pad through the through its paces. All right, last heating. And that's it, folks. That's how easy this is. And what a great way to use up those old magazines that you have. Just check them out. Look at those pages. Even if there's some words on there, it's okay. Because once you do the stamping, as you can see, you have no idea what's under there. And I think this is just an awesome technique and an awesome way to recycle those magazines to get a very unique card. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're going to give this a try. If you do, make sure you post it in our groups and tag me so I can see what you're doing. Okay, thanks again, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.